Changed my mind. Trish, to start with you, Anthony Richardson should have been the number one overall pick. Changed my mind on a Monday. Oh, can't do it. No, because here's the deal. I love Anthony Richardson. It's been great what he's been able to do. Uh, he might be concussed. He might end. Uh, he's already hurt, and it's now week three. I don't think what we saw from him at Florida would have warranted the number one overall pick uh, for the quarterback position. I think you still would say it's Bryce Young. I think it's way too early to tell. And listen, like Carolina doesn't have a great situation for Bryce to be in. You trade DJ Moore away, and your number one receiver is Adam Thielen or DJ Chark. Do 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 do. I don't know. I would not have taken him number one overall then. I wouldn't take him number one overall now. I would still go Bryce Young. The only knock really against Bryce Young has been his size. Everything else, skill set, upside, ceiling, all those things. You look at prototypical franchise quarterback, it's just the size. But he's not a running quarterback. He's not going to get out and scramble a lot. So, yes, there are concerns that if he takes a hit, yeah, the guy's smaller and could get hurt. Guess what? That can happen to any quarterback. Of any size, if they get blindsided in the pocket. So, for me, it's still Bryce Young. I know right now, Anthony Richardson, before the injury, has looked more dynamic. But the upside is still there for Bryce Young. And I I would absolutely still take Bryce Young number one. 100%. Bryce is still the guy. Clean sweep. You look at Joe Burrow in his first year in Cincinnati, I think it's a lot like what Bryce is facing. The O-line stink. He didn't have any weapons. Then what the Bengals do, they went out and got Higgins. They went out and got Chase. He upgraded the O-line. Carolina does that, Bryce is going to turn into a star. There, He's fun. Beach, we'll start with you here. Puka Nakua, change my mind, is the real deal. Top 20 NFL wide receiver already. By the way, shop around. He's 20, plus 2,500 for most receiving yards. Dude would not even have been on the radar a couple of weeks ago. Change my mind. It's crazy. I'm not going to. I think he is the real deal because of the team and the system that he plays in. There are certain Circumstances receivers... dictating this. Exactly. There are certain receivers in the league that if you plug them on whatever team, they'll be superstars. I think if you play, you put him on a certain team, say like, you know, you put him on the Panthers or you put him on Arizona, it might not be great. You put him on the Rams, you put him on the Chiefs, put him on a team with great passing schemes and systems. He fits in. So I think he's the real deal in the Rams system. So real quick, I knew it. So Deshaun Watson looks like did fumble on that play. That's why it was the, it was hard to see from the main shot. So are they reviewing the replay? It they're they showing. Doing? I don't. I think they're reviewing it now because it's hard to see. Oh, see now did. they're showing us the, the angle. He fumbled. So I think that may actually not be a first down for the Browns. Real quick on Puka Nakua, I think he could be. I, I agree with you, PJ, on the the system part of things. Twenty five receptions through the first two weeks of the season. You got to give the guy some credit it's a for that. Stupid. Number. One thing you're seeing though is a lot of corners are playing off of him more. They're giving him more space, and you're getting those quick throws from Matt Stafford to capitalize on that. That's why he's racking up a lot of the receptions. So if you start seeing receivers get more film and they're up on him a little bit more, maybe a little bump and run at the line, it might make it a little more difficult for him. But right now he's getting the space and he's capitalizing on it. Yeah, I think he's pretty real. Uh, I did not get him in fantasy. I should have paid more, but uh, yeah, to me, with Stafford, real. The winning trifecta is Ryan Horvat, Trista Crick, and Nick Ashu. All three will be right back on Bet MGM Tonight, presented by Bet MGM. It's time for Pass It or Play It. So the big news coming out, Trista just mentioned it a couple minutes ago, and this is the Lions looking forward with them now. They're three-and-a-half-point favorites as of right now, uh, hosting the Atlanta Falcons. Total's 45-and-a-half. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, though, feared to have a torn peck. He could be done for the season. David Montgomery's day-to-day with a thigh. Their linebacker, James Houston's out six to eight weeks with a broken ankle. So the Lions are a team that has... Look, the expectations are as high as they've ever been for that organization. Maybe going back to some of the prime Matt Stafford years. But for the most part, the Lions are one of the darlings of the NFL. They're starting to get hit with that injury bug now. And that's that's a major plus for a team like the Packers, who we just said. Really like the way they look, even though they lost. Jordan Love looks good. But th- that is, defensively, this team was atrocious. C.J. Gardner-Johnson was supposed to help with that. Who knows how, I mean, he's like likely going to be done for the season. A torn pack will keep you out a long time. And James Houston out on top of that. David Montgomery is a guy that's a touchdown machine Bad. in the red zone. So those, those are major, major weapons offensively and defensively for this Lions team that puts them in a really, really bad position. And look, the Atlanta Falcons, Desmond Ritter, I'm not a believer in him in the long term, but God, that team is 
They've got, I mean, if they just keep running the football the way they are, that, that's all you need to do. Or just dink and dunk. Bijan Robinson. Bijan Robinson may already be the best running back in the NFL. I know Nick Chubb is great, PJ, and you said, but like, Bijan Robinson is, it's unfair at times watching what he can do. It's He's fun nasty. to watch him, too. Yeah, it is. I don't think I'm going to play this yet. I think this is a pass for me, although I will like watching this game. That line is a suspect line. It is. No chance it gets to Detroit minus three, right? I can't. I, don't think I, so. I can't Mm-mm. see. It. I, I can't don't see think it. so. Because if it does, I'll play Detroit. I Same. still kind of like them with the hook, but if it gets to three, Detroit will be. I think it only goes up. Will be a play for I me. I think if you like it, at if you like it at three, you're probably not getting a three. Right. Because what happens if David Montgomery is healthy and he's okay? Then you're probably getting a four, four and a half. But it's a no play for me. <sighs> Too many question marks. Yeah, with I kind of like the over, honestly. That just feels like an over game with those two teams. Could see some points being scored. Mm. The only question is, so if the Lions are up in that game, you're then counting on Desmond Ritter to throw them back. Like, I know they'll still run the ball a lot, but at some point you've got to be able to throw the football. Yeah. And Ritter threw his first interception, too. That was the big thing with him. He wasn't turning the ball over. And he just he threw a pick this week. I mean, they were down 24-12 in that game yesterday, yep. though, right? And they yeah. came right. back. So, I mean... They certainly prove. And he threw I, a couple of deep balls. He did, and Green Bay's defense is certainly better than Detroit. So I, I think he could if they need him to. You know, the Seahawks were, were my favorite bet from yesterday, so I wasn't surprised that the Lions lost that game. I, I do think they bounced back. I like the fact Atlanta's 2-0. and That's another thing. And Desmond Ritter's just one of those guys. That, he's still never lost a home start in the NFL or college yet. 29, That's crazy. 29-0. Yeah. 29-0 for Desmond Ritter. So the guy just wins at home. When he goes on the road, it's a different story. I, I just want to see if this line moves at all. I can't see it getting a three, but if it does, if people maybe overreact to this Garter-Johnson injury, I, I like the Lions at minus three. Big game on Thursday night. You oh, got the 49ers, which I just looked away for one second. Was that a pick again? Yes. Kenny Pickett threw a pick? God. See, that's the problem with this game. I really, all the, like, all of these quarterbacks, big question marks, big risks, risk and reward for all of them. I love uh, I love it for the total, honestly. Ah, uh, yes. I'd love to see it. Yes. Just let's just keep switching possession <laughs> over and over and no. over and over again until we get to halftime. Yeah, I don't know. Out of all these quarterbacks, we're the most confident about Bryce Young first, right? Number one, Bryce Young. Number two. In terms of like this year or no, like, like long-term like future? long-term future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most upside. Yeah. Most upside there. I and mean, Derek then, Carr kind of is who he is at this point. He's obviously more, you know, the veteran and here. probably Kenny Pickett. And then probably Derek Carr, and then Deshaun Watson. God, how think of that, that is though? How the mighty have fallen. Think of yeah, that's exactly what. Like right now, you watch Deshaun Watson, and you see a shell of the quarterback he used to be. And he's back on offense again. Short field now, though. They're starting from the the Steelers nineteen, nice. and Watson just got sacked. So seven three now. I like seeing that. Eight minutes to go. Yeah, and that's yeah. Run that clock. Anybody that likes the under? I took the under on Deshaun Watson's passing yards too. So Same. I'll just just take the I unders. Have the under and, two oh was it two oh five and a half. Is what it was. Minus oh, you got it at a better number, too, yeah. What'd you get it at? I got it at 199. Oh, okay. It was yeah. a little risky, but I was like, you know what? He threw for 154 last week. I did this all last season, too. I'm just going to keep firing on the unders. Yeah, until minus it... 115. Yeah. That's I would have loved that 205, but I'll still take the 199. Uh, Giants are at the 49ers for Thursday Night Football this week. That number is ballooned now. 49ers minus 10 and a half. Lay it. The total's 45. I still think I would, too. I'll lay it. I really would, too. No Barkley, short week. You know, they, they had that great comeback against Arizona, but how bad have they looked for six quarters of the season? Yeah. Right? Or, now, though, you could look at it the other way, PJ. Did that comeback spark confidence in that team? Did it but now change you everything? Roll with Matt Breida. Now, if, if Saquon's well, that's true. If there's not no playing, Saquon, you're screwed. You're and, that all, and that Giants offensive line has to go against that Niners defense. Yeah. So I don't want any part of that. I think that's a, that's a game where you say Giants team total under. I like that. That's a Niners first half because uh, you're probably getting, what, like a six? Something like that. I would be fine with that. Um, maybe a, a Niners team total over. I'm fine with the ten and a half. I think there's other ways to attack it that mm-hmm. I feel more confident in. It might be an under game too. Yeah. That Giants offense can't do anything with the 49ers D getting after him. My worry end up... is the is the Niners offense. Mm-hmm. That's my worry. Yeah, Bryce Young just fumbled as well. This, nice. is, yeah. this is some good football we're watching. Good here. football. Okay. Good I love seeing it. <laughs> Turnovers. Is, what, what is this? Is this Iowa, Wisconsin, Northwestern, and Rutgers playing Another on my Another 43 yard yeah, attempt. I mean, they got like the Big Ten specials going on. Another kicker though, Dustin, Dustin Hopkins. Hopkins. Tristan, we're getting ready to cash two over one and a half. You never gave out Dustin Hopkins I didn't, to me, but. 
You're I, lame. I didn't. Can you not save that? Because he just oh, missed, oh, missed it. No, no, I think that went through. That went in. That went, no, oh, it, it did miss out. it. Yeah. And that's you, why I didn't ooh, give it to you. you if I knew sucker. he was going to miss. You little sucker. <laughs> I knew he was going to miss. Former commander right there. That's exactly right. <laughs> I like Trista's look, though, with the team total under with the Giants. I think, I think that's a good play. Yep. 